Hi everybody, we're gonna do what am I wearing and why. So today I'm wearing the Armory's road jacket in a brown linen. I'm wearing an Ascot Chang button down shirt in red and white striped cotton linen. I'm wearing a pair of olive sport chinos in cotton. And I am wearing our Moonstar sloth boots because it is a rainy day today. And these are a good pair of boots to be kind of in this not so great weather. Um, why am I wearing this today? Well, firstly, the road jacket. Uh, we shot a video about that last week. So we showed our new road jacket, which is for the summer. Um, and we showed a few ways to style it. And I have been really enjoying wearing it. And in fact, um, today it kind of occurred to me that you know, one of the reasons why I really like the road jacket uh, is because when you look at like old fashioned illustrations, like menswear fashion illustrations from say like the 30s to the 60s, especially American style fashion illustrations, there's like a certain look where it's almost a little bit football shaped, like the man's silhouette is almost a little bit football shaped. So what I mean is that the head is small and then there's a very strong line, sloping line, uh, coming down from the head, across the neck to the shoulders, right? And it makes the shoulders feel a little bit lower than you might expect and the head look a little bit higher than you might expect. And there's something about that, that silhouette that I think is just really cool, really interesting. And the road jacket, not exactly like by design, but we luckily ended up with it, like really captures that quite beautiful silhouette, you know? And I think it's a combination of things like having this particular shape of collar and having like the shoulders of the jacket extend a little bit, having a little bit of drape in the chest on purpose. Um, but then also at the same time, like having a relatively like short and trim at the waist silhouette for the jacket itself. Uh, and then like these little pleats here and also here really help to like make that, that football shape that I was describing earlier. Um, so if you are, you know, near the shops, come by and check out a road jacket. I think they're really interesting. They're also available online. And, you know, we shot that video last week uh, that could be worth your attention. Check that out. Um, other thing that I want to show you in terms of what I'm wearing. So this sport chino, uh, which is one of my favorite sport chinos that we've ever done. Um, we ran out of stock, but they've actually now come back into stock. And I wanted to show you what it looks like having worn them for a long time. So this is a new pair, right? The new pair is a made in Japan cotton. It's crisp. Um, it's not too green. Like you see a little bit of whiteness to it. Uh, and it's a very easy color to wear. Now, as you wash it, um, it actually develops this kind of peachy finish, which is really pleasant. Like the, the green is still very much there, but there's also this really interesting whitish peachy finish to it that I really love and it's really, really comfortable to wear. Um, also, you know, on the sport chino, like we made the sport chino so that you could wear it, you know, with casual stuff like the road jacket, but you also wear it with a bit of tailoring as well. And one of the things that we did was rather than do a double stitch down the side of the leg, we just did a single stitch. And what it means is that like seams like this don't quite pucker as much. Like it doesn't look like say those old Carhartt, um, those old Carhartt carpenter pants. They look a little bit more dressy than that. So they go really well with like navy blazers just as much as they go well with things like the road jacket. Um, finally, uh, we've got, you know, cause we've shot a lot of video recently and I'm not sure if everybody um, actually sees all the videos on YouTube. Like YouTube is actually the better place to watch the videos because the quality is way nicer. And because there's certain videos that actually don't even make it onto IGTV. Um, we found this out the hard way. What happened was we suddenly realized that like IGTV cannot do videos over 15 minutes long. So, uh, you know, like the other week I did a video and I was like, oh man, it's 19 minutes. I can't, I can't put it on IGTV. And I was already exhausted, so I couldn't chop it up into two pieces. So I thought, you know what, let's just encourage people to go and see the better quality version on YouTube anyways. So the video I'm talking about is actually the Naoya Hida video. You know, Naoya Hida, who is one of our favorite watch brands, he, um, he actually had, well, we actually had, basically all the things he had released over the last three years, right? So he has the Type 1B, Type 1C, Type 2A, Type 2B, and Type 3A. And it was really fun to see like three years worth of this man's work in terms of design. And you know, what's interesting about like seeing an evolution of design is that the first generation of the design has like some sort of, mm, some sort of like flagship feature, right? Some sort of distinctive feature that defines the entire type, like that series of the design. But then like, as you do each iteration of that design in subsequent years, like those new revisions of those design tend to like develop and improve little things that 
are maybe secondary, but end up making the product feel like much more refined as a result too. So it's like the first one is like the rawest and the purest, and then the last one will always be like the most mature and developed. And um, it was great to, for instance, see a type 1B versus a type 1C, uh, because I think like that sort of idea really comes through. So check that video out. That is on the Armory TV, which is our YouTube channel, uh, thearmorytv.com. It's 19 minutes long, but I chaptered it, and so it's a little bit easier to navigate around. Um, and then another little watch thing that's coming up, uh, Moritz Grossman. Um, so we have this great independent watchmaker uh, that collaborated with Revolution Watch Magazine. They made this beautiful piece, uh, and we have it on consignment at the store in Hong Kong, in Landmark. And if you would like to purchase it, if you'd like to have a look, we are only going to have it until next Monday. Um, so basically either someone buys it or it goes back to Revolution on Monday. Um, it's a wonderful piece. We actually shot our first kind of like under a macro lens watch video. Uh, so we're using that piece. Um, so if you're interested, please check that video out as well. All right, uh, last two little kind of fun things. I wanted to show you my DIY bag. Like this is the Armory tote bag. And this weekend, I thought it would be fun to just um, buy some markers. Because I've always wanted to like draw some stuff, draw some stuff very poorly, I might add. Draw some stuff on canvas. And I, I kind of like it. You know, if you've bought our Armory tote bags, like the Goliath, like the David, like the Sling, this is the Sling, um, it, you can just use a permanent marker and just draw right on it. It's pretty fun. Check it out. Finally, um, our lovely producer, Sam, who is holding the camera right now, is having a second COVID shot. I hope everyone can wish him good luck with it. Um, Sam is actually going to take a few days off after the COVID shot, just in case like there's some recovery complications. So if you don't hear from us for a little while on the Army TV, that is why. All right. This was a long one, but thank you for watching. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching.